Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. And today I want to do a little something different. Um, I'm at my house now and I brought some of the mower blades back home with me because there are things that I can do on the farm and there are things that I can do at home. When I'm at the farm, I want to best utilize my time and that is doing things that I can only do there. So I take stuff home with me to uh, do inside my garage like this. And what I'm going to be doing today is sharpening my mower blades. I have oh, three or four primary mowers, let's say, and one of them is a DR, right? Field and brush mower that takes this guy. And we also have a Gravely Pro, which we don't use as much, but Dad likes to use it. It's a walk behind finish, uh, finish cut mower. It's got three blades. And that, I believe, is this guy. We also have a three point. Uh, pull behind mower that we'll use with our new Holland and we'll do some of the bigger areas it's got the biggest cut so our parking lot and some of the barn areas that will take these a lot of nicks on them obviously you've seen some stones um, a little newer than some of the blades is we also have a 60 inch uh, gravely zero turn which is my favorite thing to use when mowing because it's fast it's efficient and yeah it does a really good job uh, my wife likes driving it around and that's fantastic because mowing is like a never-ending job. Um, one thing I've done, I've sharpened these in the past, but I didn't have a blade balancer. And it's important because if you don't have a balancer, you're going to prematurely wear, you know, the bushings inside the mower, the bearings, whatever it is. So it's a great idea to, you know, obviously balance your blades. So I bought one. It was a whopping 12 bucks. I'll put a link down in the description so you could use a, an affiliate link. So you can help support the channel and get something easy like this. And all it is, it's like a little, uh, like a little thimble. It's got a, a point and it's got a, kind of a graduated uh, cone on it. And you'll set the blade on there and then we'll balance it out when we grind it. Um, when I bought the kit, it came with a bit stone, sharpening stone that will go onto a drill or something like that. I think this will take a long time. I prefer a four inch grinder with kind of a uh, paddle disc. I don't know if that's really the real term, but it's like sandpaper. And as you wear things off, you'll kind of always get a new, new fine paper. These things do a really good job. So that's what we're gonna do now and we'll get into it. So a couple things before we get started. Obviously I like seeing, I like hearing. So wear your eyes and ears when you're doing this stuff because it's just not worth it. All right, so now we take it over to the table and the uh, blade level. And this is actually, I think, the first time I've used the level on my tripod to kind of set the camera up that way. I'm not giving you a crooked view. But I'd say that looks pretty good. So we'll call that blade good and we'll move on to the next one. All right, looks good. And what we're looking for is basically if it wasn't level, it would just kind of tip over to a side, right? One side's heavier. I've also seen other uh, type of blade balancers that put it on an edge, right? And then they'll, when you put it on a wall and gravity will kind of bring that edge down. But 
I think I would have preferred one of those, but I couldn't find one at the time, and so I'll use this one. So these are three blades for our uh, uh, the Gravely Pro. So we'll move on to the mower, the three-point finished mower. Like this one, clearly this side is more heavy, heavier, sorry, more heavy. This side is heavier, so we have to take more off this side to lighten it up. Me too. All right, after quite a bit of grinding, I'd say that's pretty good. Move on to the next one. Hopefully not all like that. Well, a couple of useful tips. You know, first we have our tool we use for putting on the grinder bit. We have it zip tied to the cord. Common sense. Unhook the cord when you're, you know, changing out your different grinding wheels and stuff like that. Just be safe. Obviously, you hit the button and the thing turns on. The key's in there. Sounds like uh, a mess waiting to happen. Another thing, you know, I think it's pretty common knowledge, but when you plug in an extension cord and you plug it in, oh, bent the blade a little bit, and you go to pull it out and you just unhook it, right? That's no fun. So if you do a little knot, right? Tie it around, plug it in. Now you're just pulling on the knot, won't just come out on you. Little, little free advice there. Just to see what we're starting with this is pretty rough definitely not sharp at all pretty worn out we've taken this thing through some stuff so spent a lot of time grinding
All right, after we got a nice distinct tip. I took a lot of material off. The more gradual the plane, right, the longer the blade will last. If you give it a real hard slope, just touch up the edge, it'll dull. The first time you hit a rock, it'll be dull. So kind of give it a gradual plane. Um, it'll sharpen easier the next time. I won't have to take as much material off the next time. So spend the time, one nice edge, and we'll see how well it looks balanced now. All right, got a lot of material to take off on this side. Getting better, but we'll do a little bit more. All right, we'll call that guy good. So that's it for the, uh, the pole behind three point finish cut. That was obviously the, uh, I don't know, things been through some through some stuff. That was pretty bad. So we'll move on to the DR, which is the biggest blade, nice and straight. I think I sharpened that one before, so it should be pretty quick. All right, I'm ready to be done grinding, so uh, we'll call that good. So yeah, it took a little longer than what I thought, especially on the uh, three-point fine cut. Uh, that was pretty rough. I, I don't think those have ever been sharpened before. <clears throat> we do have two sets, so right now there's another set on the on the mower. That way we don't actually take a piece of equipment down. We can uh, just swap out the, the dull blades for the sharp blades, get back up and running, minimize downtime, and then sharpen them when we can. I don't do this every year, maybe every couple of years. Depends on how hard we use the equipment. Uh, the DR is something that we use a lot and is a field and brush mower, so it, it sees a lot. And I put that thing through some stuff. So again, I'll have links to all these things on the description below. One more thing that I'd like to add is in my garage, I have kind of a, uh, a retractable extension cord up where my garage uh, door opener is. It's real neat. Um, inside the house, they only gave you know, one or two outlets, one on a far wall, one on the garage door opener. So getting that little retractable thing, hanging it from the ceiling makes doing little projects around the house super easy, super fun. So I have a link to that as well. And yeah, uh, I know it's getting time to do some mowing. Spring's here, it's what, May 2nd, finally after a long winter. So we'll get out there and get mowing because otherwise get overrun with weeds and that's no good. So. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you saw something that will help you succeed on your farm. If you didn't, check out some of these other videos that I've created for you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content. Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider us using the Buy Me A Coffee or affiliate links in the description below.